This is the governing equation of a DC motor. And if we assume that either the inductance is zero or that the time rate of change of current is zero, this last term goes away. And for the purposes of this video, we'll assume that the inductance is zero, so we don't have to worry about whether the current is changing or not. So now with this equation of motion, we can plot the speed torque curve over here. Torque on this axis, speed on this axis, and we're doing it for a constant voltage, let's say 12 volts. Now, this is actually just one quadrant of the speed torque plane. There's no reason we can't talk about negative speeds and negative torques. And this line here extends beyond this quadrant, so we can just extend it out like this. And now we can talk about different operating points that are outside of this top right quadrant. For example, an operating point here means that we are spinning with a negative speed, and then we applied 12 volts to the motor, and we actually create a larger torque here than is possible at stall, right? Um, so we create a torque that will try to speed the motor up from its negative speed. Uh, and similarly up here, if we're operating at this operating point, then maybe something externally is forcing the motor to spin at a high speed. But once it stops being forced externally and we're just applying 12 volts to it, the torque actually has to be negative. And what's going to happen is the motor is going to start to slow down and go to this no load operating point. So we can extend this speed torque curve outside of the top right quadrant. Um, we can also uh, draw a negative 12 volts curve, so let me do that, just parallel to it, and this is the minus 12 volts curve. So now if our op power supply switched the, the positive and negative voltage, negative 12 volts across the motor, and we get a speed torque that curve that looks like this. Uh, here is the stall point, so this is where we're applying maximum negative torque at no speed. And this is the no load speed uh, in the negative direction instead of the positive direction. So everything between these two lines is the operating region for the motor when it's got between minus 12 volts and positive 12 volts across it. We can also think about the continuous operating region in the speed torque plane. And it's going to look something like if this is, defines the maximum negative current and the maximum positive current that can go through the coils before heating them up too much. We can just draw this band here, and this is our continuous operating region. And finally, you can think about, well, what if we started the motor at rest and we applied positive 12 volts to it? What's going to happen? And assume that there's uh, no load on the motor, so it's not being prevented from spinning. So we're going to start out here at zero velocity, and the torque is going to be maximized when we start up. So we're applying 12 volts. What's going to happen is the motor is going to move along the speed torque curve like this until it hits the no load speed. And there it's just going to spin at the constant speed. Now from there, let's say we switch from 12 volts to minus 12 volts across the motor. And let me extend this up so we see what happens. Instantaneously, when we switch the voltage, we're going to go from operating here across to this point. So our speed hasn't changed, only the voltage. So we jump from the 12 volt curve to the minus 12 volt curve. And now here we see that we have a, a large negative torque. And so what's going to happen is the motor is going to move down on the speed torque curve like this until eventually it hits its no load speed in the negative direction with this constant minus 12 volts across it. And again, then at this point, once we hit the no load speed in the negative direction, we switch back to 12 volts. And so again, instantaneously, the Velocity is not going to change, but the voltage does. So we jump over to here. And then what's going to happen if we hold the voltage constant at 12 volts, the motor is going to move from this point up through here, and then again up to the no load speed in the positive direction.